So on screen we have the cube created uh, in the previous step and we're going to use exactly the same tool, the extrude, to create holes running through from the center of each face right the way through the, the cube. So I want to start off by selecting the extrude tool. The extrude dashboard opens across the top of the screen just like it did last time and in the placement tab it allows us to define where we're going to do the sketching. So if I click on define the sketcher dialog opens at the side of the screen we select the surface to sketch on and we're going to select the front face notice the dialog gets populated automatically we can click on sketch the model rotates to be viewed flat onto the sketch plane and notice we've got two reference lines created automatically coincident with the, the two datum planes that pass through the center of the cube. This is important because we'll snap to this when we're drawing our circle. Select the circle tool and then move the cursor until it snaps not just to the vertical reference line or the horizontal but to both. So the center of the hole will be located at the origin. Click once to select the center and then move the mouse until you have a circle. Click again to select the point on the circumference. Use the arrow tool to change the diameter of the hole. Double click, select, uh, type in the number you want, 8 in this case, press enter on the keyboard and the hole or the circle resizes. We have finished sketching so we can click on the blue check mark to close down Sketcher and return to 3D. Notice the dashboard for the hole for the extrude rather is now active. A middle mouse and drag to show what it is that we're being offered and zoom in and out using the scroll wheel in the middle of the mouse. So we want to change the direction for this we can do it either by selecting or clicking on the yellow arrow in the model or changing the direction up here and then we need to make two further changes one is in the depth of the hole, currently it's to a known depth here. If we click on through all to intersect with all surfaces it'll pass through the entire block but at the moment we're still adding material, solid material shown here. We want to change it to remove material and then to make sure we're getting what we want click on the spectacles to preview it and then rotate the model to just check to make sure that the hole does go through the entire block. It does, so we're happy with that and we can green check mark to close down the dashboard and add that second extrude to the model tree. So I'm going to do another one. So we'll start another extrude. This time we're going to select the side face, so placement and define. Select the side face of the cube this time. The sketch dialog is populated automatically. Click on sketch and again it rotates onto the side. Now you'll notice that in this case we've got a reference line that runs horizontally through the center of the cube but the vertical reference has picked up the side of the cube. It could happen either way around, it could be that we need to create a reference vertically or we might need to create one horizontally. But It's a good opportunity to show you how to manually create references. So we go up to the sketch menu, this is only visible when we're in Sketcher, down to references and the dialog opens telling us which references are currently available. Here we are, there's two. The selection arrow tool is active so we can simply click on the vertical datum plane, the front datum plane, creating a new reference here and then click close. So we've now got those two references crossing in the middle that we can use to draw the circle in just the same way that we did before. Once we've drawn the circle arrow tool, double click, type in a new number for the value, press enter and the parametric control alters the size of the circle. We needn't wait to look at 3D, we can actually do it while we're in Sketcher. So Sketcher is just a temporary view that's parallel to the uh, sketch plane so that when we close the Sketcher with the blue check mark we can see that it's again trying to extrude a solid away from the object. We want to go through the block, we want to change it through all surfaces and removing material. Again we can preview with the spectacles having a look to make sure it goes through the entire block. 
and it does so we're happy with that we can green check mark just check with a stored view in trimetric and we can turn off the display of date and features to clean it up and see the labors of our the fruits of our labors make sure you save your work regularly so we'll save this before we leave you to go on to the next step